Life always seems to come full circle. Brock Osweiler is right back where he left off. Last season he left the Broncos because he ended the year on the bench and that's exactly where it's looking like he's going to finish this season with the Houston Texans. The pylon has more on this story right now. <laughs> And it's almost coming into sight, and you're running out of time. Your decision on a dime has you gliding through the sky, and you're praying that you fly on. Didn't go as planned, but you know where to land, so you stick it out your hand while you hit the chair. Fans, commentators in the stands going in a freaking trance when you're. Change to the pylon! For the Texans fans that are convinced that Brock Osweiler is going to get him over the hump, take a look at this. Take a really close look. Brock Osweiler possesses a career QBR of 48.8. Now look at the guys that he was brought in to replace. All of them had higher QBRs during their time with the Texans. And remember, Brian Hoyer was relatively solid prior to his playoff meltdown. Brock Osweiler had his opportunity. So what's Brock Osweiler's total QBR at this point in the season? His QBR comes in at a whopping 54.5. Worse than those guys in that last video, good for 24th best in the league. What makes matters even worse, the guy who ultimately replaced Osweiler, Trevor Simeon, has a total QBR of 57.5. Compare the numbers and Osweiler has thrown 14 touchdowns and 16 interceptions, while Simeon has thrown for 16 touchdowns to only 8 interceptions. The Texans are paying for less touchdowns, double the interceptions, and almost 700 times the amount that John Elway is paying Trevor Simeon. Now I know John Elway with trade what's looking like another division title for the Texans as opposed to what's looking like a potential playoff miss by the Denver Broncos, but if he tunes in to see whoever the Texans are going to lose to in the divisional round, he's going to know he dodged a bullet no matter who's in there at quarterback.